Hey guys, welcome to this week's live feed. We are live on Facebook and we are live on Instagram. So it's great to be live with you guys again. Every Tuesday at 3, we are live and we talk about business, uh, you know, concepts, business, mindset, entrepreneur questions, um, you know, side hustle questions. And we talk about some solutions, uh, thinking methods. So if you have some questions, save them for a Tuesday and then we can talk about them live. So any questions you have about your entrepreneurial journey, your side hustle, your business, um, we will answer them live on a Tuesday at 3. So welcome to this week's live session guys, uh, very excited. This week we're talking a bit about funding. So if you've ever had a question on funding, um, what should I do, how do I get funding, um, do I need funding? We're going to talk about that today. We had a question throughout the week, well actually a few questions about funding and how that works and how you can get it and we're going to talk about that right now. But if you have any other questions, send them through in the meantime and then we can also answer that and we can work through it and we can talk about it. Okay guys, so funding. First of all, if someone asked me for funding, the first thing I ask them is, what have you done? Okay, that's the first question that I ask them. Because normally, people that ask me for funding, and I get that a lot, I get a lot of requests, Albert, I have this great business idea, it's gonna work, it's gonna be the new thing, I just need you to fund it. I'll do all of the rest, I just need you to be a, uh, you know, an investor and give me the funding that I need to start this up. And then my first question would be, what have you done and what is already done and, and what do you have already? And normally it's guys that say, yeah, I haven't done anything yet, but I have this idea and it's going to be great. And yeah, I haven't done anything yet because I have a full-time day job and I can't really you know, work in the evenings, but I know it's going to be a great idea. So if you give me funding, I can quit my job and do this. And... I don't like that approach. Let me tell you why. Let's use a, a football analogy. So imagine a football player. You're a sponsor and you need to sponsor about a million rands towards this football player. Okay, and you have a few options. There's a few football players out there. So you get the one guy that's there. He's like, I'm going to be the best football player. I have the correct diet that I need to follow. I have the correct practice plan. I know all of the exercises that I need to do. I know everything. I have worked out everything and I have the exact, I have the best idea on how to become the best football player. And I even have a big, thick business model document that I can give you, a business plan of exactly what I'm going to do to be the best football player. And then I asked the football player, okay, so how many games have you played? And the, the football player would be, oh, oh no, I haven't played anything yet. I have a full-time job, you know, so I can't really play football right now. Um, but I have the perfect plan and the perfect idea. Would you invest in a, perfect, uh, in, a, in a football player like that? Even though they have the perfect training plan, the perfect diet, you know, the whole business plan, a thick business plan. Would you put your million bucks on that football player? How about the other football player, the other option? He's practicing every day. He's played about 200 games. He's had his wins. He's had his losses. Um, and he can show you the stats. He can show you how many touchdowns he's had and how many kicks he's put over the poles and you know how many games he's, how many points he's um, got together. He can show you all of the stats and his history and his experience. I promise you, you would rather back that guy. Hi Gert Fischer, thanks for joining in. Gert is saying hello, what's up Gert? What's your business about? What are you doing? Uh, any questions? Today we're talking a bit about funding and I just talked about an analogy that I use to describe funding and why people should fund other people. And I have a lot of people that ask me, Albert, can you please fund my business idea? And I just talked to that a bit because 
Um, if you have to choose between two football players, the one has no experience but has this great idea, because that's normally how it works. The guy that needs funding um, doesn't have any experience, but he has this great idea. And then the second guy has experience, actual hardcore physical experience and, and stats that you can look at. I promise you everyone would say, I'll rather fund the guy that has the stats that has the experience. So in my, in my situation, I prefer not to fund um, guys that hasn't already run around a few businesses successfully. And most probably, if you have a few businesses that you've already run um, successfully, you wouldn't need funding. Because then you would have your businesses and you would have your profits and you would have your income. So you wouldn't need funding. So, but if you need funding, so that's, that's the first part of what we're going to discuss today. The second part is, what if you really need funding? Um, what if you do and, and you need to apply for funding and you can't realize your dreams without it? The first step, will, I would say, is to do a lean startup. Okay, skip funding. Don't get funding. Do a lean startup. You can start any business. Uh, if I say any, maybe... 99% of businesses you can start without any funding and very lean so for example if you want to be a baker okay you want to bake cupcakes but now you're saying look I need ovens I need stock um, you know you know sugar and all of the ingredients I need to buy that I need a kitchen that I need to you know um, set up I need to set up a whole staff that can bake and stuff you can do that lean okay you can borrow your grandma's oven okay and you can buy small packets of sugar for each batch you can get the sale first and then with the money from the sale with the deposit from the sale pay for your ingredients and you know pay for if you need some staff members get them on a part-time basis get them on a commission basis and let them work um, let them get paid for what the work that they do and run the whole business so lean that you make a profit of every sale okay and I've had I have spoken a lot about lean business and lean startup so go check out my other videos on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube about lean startup but that's my first um, tip if you want funding if you need funding rather consider starting lean okay and then the second tip will be outsource let's say you want to start a 3d printing business or a molding business or something where you have to have big machines that cost a lot of money and sometimes they do you're like I can't I can't do 3d printing I can't make this figurine um, I actually had a figurine business where the equipment was really really expensive and you can't do it because you need to buy all of these equipment then outsource okay there are other businesses that have these you know these machines and this equipment standing around and they're not always working at full capacity so what what we did is we just used another people's expertise another person's resources so you can do that as well let's say you want to do 3d printing approach a 3d printing company ask them Look, I'm going to bring you sales, okay? What's your rates? What's your costs? Okay, and they say, okay, we charge 1,300 Rand per figurine. Then you go and sell the figurine for 2,300 bucks. And then you pay them the 1,300, they deliver the product, and then you resell. So you don't have to buy your own resources. You can just outsource and use other people's resources. Any company you can think of, there's about 1,000 of them. Um, with, the, with the resources they already have, you can just make use of it on a part-time basis. So partner up with these firms um, as a reseller or something and use their resources. Okay, that's the second tip. Now the third tip, if you really, really can't start this business lean, okay? There's no way that you can start it lean. If you really, really can't outsource any of your um, processes or procedures or operations which I doubt I think you can start any business lean or outsource but if it's really really impossible to do that then I'll say rather than getting funding from an investor partner with someone that has the funding so you are the IT guy or the brain behind the idea 
and you partner with another business guy that can run the business operations, that can run the day-to-day -day activities, that has the funding to fund the business as you go along. So I would say that would be my first and uh, my third suggestion. Rather partner with someone that has the funding and the resources you need and make them part of your business. Uh, work with them towards this dream. Okay. Because why I'm, I'm not for funding is because you have a dream, you have a passion, you have something you want to work towards and now you need to get uh, money from someone else that doesn't share the same dream, that doesn't share the same passion and they're going to look at the return on investments, they're going to look at the expenses and they're going to look at the income and they're going to just look at that. They don't care about the passion. They don't care about the dream. They don't care about the hard times. They want their money back. They want their investment back. So keep that in mind when you make deals with investors and guys that fund your business. That's what they're looking at. That's what they want to get back. They want to get a return on their investment. And you are now their machine. You are now their you know, money machine that creates that return on investment for them. And I'm not sure if you want to be in that position. Take a lot of, you know, you're going to take a lot, a lot of wrong turns and, you know, mistakes. And you're going to, you know, go through tough times and figure things out as you go along. Okay. And you don't want to do that with someone else's money. Because they're going to put a lot of money into you. Let's say you, you get a million bucks and you're going to have to put up offices and hire staff. But you don't actually have any experience in business yet. And that's, and sometimes I don't care if you have started a lot of businesses beforehand. Every business and every market is a bit different. And you need to learn the tricks of the trade as you go along. And as you jump into business, you then realize what this business is about and what's happening here. So, first of all, rather start lean. Figure the business out as you go along. Make mistakes at no cost. And, you know, work your way up to the top. Secondly, um, outsource the resources you don't have make money from it and then you can go in-house and get your own resources and finally the third option is partner with someone with experience and resources if you don't have that yourself so I wouldn't suggest taking funding and I wouldn't suggest applying for funding and keep in mind my football analogy that I used in the beginning and make sure that you have experience and you have some um, you know, have started some businesses before, before you approach a partner to ask for their resources and their time and their money. Cool guys, that's a bit on funding this week. Um, I hope it answered all of your questions. Thank you for everyone that joined in on Instagram, on Facebook. Thank you for everyone that joined in. And uh, we see you again next week at three. Send your questions throughout the week or keep them for Tuesday when we are live at three. See you next week. Cool guys, have a great day.